Hello, 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 everybody. It is Matt, and it is Sinful Sunday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I, I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot on my plate to review. And one last little tidbit of information. Check out the description box. I give you a bigger bite of every single movie of every single day, such as your brief synopsis, your starring cast, your director, runtime of the cut I am watching, a link for a trailer, a link for where you can buy this bad boy if you decide it's pretty cheap. I, I think I paid $10 plus $5 shipping. So um, that's that's extremely reasonable. Uh, and then um, if you decide you can help support Matt's Movie Mania and toss me a couple of bucks. Now that I got all that said in mind and all that out of the way, let's go on to the film of the day. And today's is a very, very, very interesting one. Uh, it came out back in 2019. It runs at about an hour and eight minutes, I believe was what the uh, final runtime was on that. And it is directed by none other than Andrew J. Chambers um, of the uh, Council Bluffs, Omaha area. I, I am a huge uh, uh, fan already. This is the first film of his that I've, uh, that I've seen so far. Um, it's in my neck of the woods, so I, I'm very, very uh, uh, happy to be reviewing it because I had no idea there was any filmmakers in in my area except for a couple, you know. But uh, uh, anyway, but this one is it's different because this one does horror films. The others they do dramas and, and comedies and stuff like that. And it's not my forte. All right, guys. Now on to the film. Back onto the film of the day. And today's, like I said, came out in 2019. It is known as After School Lunch Special. Wow, what a wild movie! Um, it is a uh, uh, anthology horror film that is split up between eight segments. Anthology comedy horror film, I should say, because there's a lot of silly humor in here, fart jokes, um, poop jokes, um, you name it, and they, they, they have it in here, and it's very, very interesting. Um, like I said, there's eight segments. Um, the first segment is is uh, one of the best segments out of all of them. It starts off with a with a uh, with a home run right away, with um, a talking tapeworm named Mitch, who is played by none other than Troma uh, co-founder uh, Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, everybody loves Uncle Lloyd, so uh, you can't go wrong there. Um, that's a fun story. And then all I I forgot to say the wraparound. The wraparound is a uh, mother who is uh, getting ready to feed his, uh, for her, feed her uh, child who is a, uh, uh, they called him the fat man child, um, uh, who is a, exactly that. He's a really just a huge, grossly uh, obese guy, um, uh, uh, played by, I believe, Sam Perry was his name. Um, plays uh plays the role and and he's just going through eating at, uh, in between each segment and giving his two cents and uh while this happens at the very beginning of it uh, his mother dies and he doesn't realize what's going on but uh th then we go into the first segment segment which was the tapeworm uh second seg segment i believe was um uh I believe it was the uh, the weed set, the weed one, where they um, they got a uh, kid that uh, never smoked weed before, uh, that was worried that he would do do stupid things, evil things, bad things, uh, if he ever smoked, and so they smoke him up, uh, and he ends up going on a uh, a furious spree. Um, 
there is three segments called the boner killer um uh which is basically um two girls that are are um uh um I would say uh, very, very passionately making out uh, while they're in their underwear while, and uh, blood is sprayed on them. And each time it cuts it off at a, a cliffhanger, um, except for the third one, which is um, uh, where, where you find out what, where the blood is coming from and, and uh, uh, where that segue or where that ends at. It's quite interesting. Um, and then what else do we got going on in here? We got a, uh, um, God, there's so much. There's a, uh, zombie, uh, pizza, uh, as they called it, um, P-E-T-Z-A, um, uh, kind of like PETA, but with, with the first zombies. Um, there's a cool thing with that. Um, there's Mr. Grizzle, which is another one, um, uh, that, uh, is a uh, legless amputee zombie that is painted up like a clown that they do a little television show about um, where they where they basically um, make him look silly and they just do whatever they want with it. Um, now, as far as everything else goes, I really don't want to give away a lot with this. Um, I'm going to end it with, um, I'm going to read the basic synopsis off the back of the case. I don't do that very often, but sometimes that, that's, that helps to give it a better um, uh, idea. But this is what it says. It says, filmmaker Andrew J. Chambers takes us on a revolting journey with the big fat man child played by Sam Perry, I was correct there, as he watches stories about a giant tapeworm named Mitch, played by Lloyd Kaufman, hungry first time briefer user, a legless zombie, and more. And uh, it, it really is a lot more to that. Um, I think the boner uh, killer segment could have been cut down to just one, but um, you know, it's it's their movie. You know, I think I think they did uh, a good enough job with with, with what they did. Um, I was entertained from beginning to end. Now, under the three things that I love my movies to me, first is audio. The audio is very nice in this. Um, I never noticed any errors due to the audio. Um, no uh, outside interference. No static. No no like back back feed from like wind or 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 somebody's uh, pesky neighbor mowing the lawn. None of that is happening on here. It, 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 it is done very, very crisp, and cool, and clean, as I like to say. So I'm going to give it an A on that end. Now on to the dialogue. The dialogue is a little silly, um, uh, but I liked it. I, it works perfectly for it. Um, it's very, very well written, in my opinion. Um, the gags work work well for it. Um, uh, I I never once got bored. Um, uh, the the segments are just um, very um, how do I say this? They work together and fit together very well, in my opinion. So I'm going to give it a, another uh, A on the dialogue. Uh, editing is my third thing. Editing is very good. Um, it keeps a nice forward momentum. Never loses its pacing throughout. Um, I never noticed any errors through editing, like continuity-wise. Um, nothing that that was a uh, major thing that um, uh, could affect it. I feel like it runs at a great time at an hour and eight minutes. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It gets right to the point right away, and it does not take its foot off the gas pedal. So that's one other thing that I absolutely loved about that. Um, I feel like the editing is uh, uh, one of the high high points as well to this movie especially um, if you do, if you're looking for something on a technical aspect I feel like they did a very good job on the editing wise so I'm gonna give it an a plus there um, so we got three a, or two a's and an a plus 
Uh, my final score of one through five, I'm gonna give this thing a four out of five. It is above, above average. It is 100% worth the watch. Um, like I said, it's 10 bucks plus $5 shipping. Um, I, I didn't notice, I didn't pay attention to see if they had any digitals on there but um they might you know who knows it's 2024 it's quite possible um but anyways check out after school lunch special directed by andrew j chambers and it is uh, well worth your try i'm gonna put that down i'm gonna get the hell out of here have a fantastic rest of your weekend folks i'll see you either tomorrow or tuesday i need to figure out next week's schedule um, I got a lot of this stuff to that I have to review, so I don't want to get behind. All right, guys, love your faces, and as always, peace. Uh